Today I'd like to talk to you about the next video in the series on the Mac 3 alternative and that is the MPEG handwheel. You would have seen my other video on the MPEG pendant when I showed you the six axis one that I got. I only need three axis but price wise that was the best deal and the components of it, how it worked and all that sort of thing. Well on the main panel I'm putting on a MPEG hand wheel and basically that's just a encoder with a knob on it and this is the one I got we'll just open her up again it's a hundred pulses per ref this one's five volt and it's the special RS and if you've looked at the other videos you know what numbers come after that so here it is I got a black one why well the box the outside controller box is going to be sprayed with uh, crinkle black paint. You know, the ones that used to be on the old binoculars and telescopes wrinkles up. So I thought this would be a nice matching colour. This is basically it. Inside there is an encoder, the shaft. Just put this knob on it and you just turn it and it just clicks. Got graduations up to 100 because it's 100 pulses. And here's the terminals. If it was a TTL, it would only have four terminals because mine's all special. It's got six terminals. Zero volt VCC, five volt A, A minus, B, B minus. That will go on the side. So I have the box, the buttons will be on this side. They have a slot in them to show you position to read your dial. A bit like a tumblers on a safe when you're clicking around. That sits up the top horizontally spin it around. I was planning to just laser cut a piece of Perspex and have that as a washer so sitting underneath there then I'll get me prop out you would have seen this from the stack light video so it would be cut like that and then where I wanted the mark to be able to see it would either be a V out or a V in some sort of notch it would then light up the end now there's between your fingers so it would then light up under there as a V under there and I can see it when I'm looking. That was my original plan. Then you can actually buy little SMD LEDs now. They're the ones that look like a grain of sand, grain of rice. And they sell them with two wires already soldered to them. So you could drill a one mil hole in the side and light that up. That was what I was considering yesterday. If you go away from the novelty side and get back down to the basic side, you have these numbers. Now when you are looking at the job and you're moving the tool into the job, are you going one, two, three, four, or are you looking at the job and relying on the indentation, the clicks? So you're actually measuring with your ears or seeing with your ears and you're clicking, clicking, clicking. Does it really need to have a bright light to see that it's actually on that 52 or 68 or whatever the numbers happens to be? No. So that then saved a bit of the wiring problems, that sort of thing. Then I've also got this radioactive tape. <laughs> it's the tape that glows in the dark. I have it in the workshop along all the light switches and anything that I need to find if there's a blackout and I can't see a thing. It glows in the dark. So if it gets a couple of hours a day of sunshine, you turn complete blackness, it will glow. I'll just cut a little strip on there and instead of having it that way, I'll just have it 90 degrees with the slot if I want to see. The 60 millimeter donor and I have a 42 millimeter spigot on here with the wiring and all that. I'll order a 42 millimeter step drill. So in three weeks to six weeks or eight weeks it'll arrive from eBay and then I can drill it. So everything just progresses according to eBay. If you can see the terminals, they're the screw type, which either have a, the fork spade or the ring spade. It's going to cause some slight problems two problems out the box you now it's this stick out wide this is on the side you drilled your hole and this fits from the outside in so then you have to put your hand into the box and get the nuts on and nip it up and I'm sure you've all had the same trouble you have a piece of wire with a ring terminal on it and you got to put the screw in the ring terminal then you got to have your screwdriver and then you got to try to push that in through the little tapped hole and it's pushing that way the screws going that way that drops down then you have to do all that inside the box 
six times and then if you drop the screw you have to try to find it. Then you have to make sure that the screwdriver is not hitting on the rest of the components that you've seen in the other video from the controller. You know how it's all got the, all the D sub blokes. So that's going to be a problem. So then you say okay what we'll do is we'll, we'll make the cabling longer, attach it to the panel, screw that in and then run the cabling through the hole, 42 millimeter hole and screw the spade fork or rings on the here. Then push it in. That's what I thought. Great. But then when you look too close to the edge, you have this edge here coming up like that, that will go in the hole, but then you, your connector is hanging over the edge. So you won't be able to push it in the hole. You have to take the connector off to put it on. So what you have to then do is where, where you, you have your ring and then you have the plastic bit that you crank down on your piece of wire, we'll have to bend that so as it's like that. So it's sitting on there like that, all coming out that way. They're three mil holes and you plenty of four mil ones out there for a couple of cents each, but then you try to find the three mil you know, big gauge wire. It's all getting a bit big for that, so you may just get the, the wire, make a C out of it and solder it up and then just screw it underneath, which might be the easiest way to put it in and out. So that's the MPEG hand wheel or encoder hand wheel and it does the same job as a pendant one but it's stuck over there so if it's over there and you're looking up this bit if you're trying to drill and you've got a long job your, your neck will never make it so that's why the pendant's there that's why I've got this maybe I'll use it maybe I won't but if I've got it I can use it if you've got any questions subscribe and as always thanks for watching